the views are nice and I like rice. I'm off to top mate. <laughs> Yes, I, Mr. Pussycat, and welcome back to a new video. And today we're carrying on from last week. <laughs> Literally, we are. So last week we um, we headed out with the intentions to climb Cat Bells, tick, um, and then head over this way to Rosswaite and do a wild camp up Castle Crag. If you watch the last video, you'll see that I got ill, and ill very quickly. So we had to go home. Nightmare. So today we're back, and we're going to do the wild camp up Castle Crag. So it's going to be a belter. We've just set off from the walk, uh, for the walk, from Rosswaite National Trust Car Park. Hold tight, yes I, me and Jordy Bear. So keep it real with Ian Bill. Come along for the journey, enjoy the video. And yes, I, Mr. Pussycat. So the river just up there is flowing like no man's business. But down here, pretty much perfectly still. In fact, it looks more active on the camera, but it's not. Very strange. But a lovely day, and there's hardly any wind whatsoever. Castle Crags just through those trees there. Can you give us a little dance from there, Jod? <laughs> Here's the stepping stones that I recognise from a couple of videos. Those videos being a Cumbria Lad Outdoors, Mooster Outdoors, The Height of Life, and Delicate Sounds of Camping. So they all came here before. And, oh, there's Johnny Bear. Go on, Johnny Lad. There he goes. Yes, I. The Geordie Bear's going in the wrong direction towards Castle Crag, away from Castle Crag, but anyway, he's having fun. So it's all worth it. Can you come back again? you got to come back again now. <laughs> Did you actually think we were going that way? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> so Geordie Bear, I thought he was just having fun. No, no, we genuinely are that way. No, no, I swear to God, we're that way. That way. He thought we were going over there. <laughs> Here he comes back. I thought he was just having some fun. I thought he was just having fun on him. Here he comes. Back onto the right path. <laughs> this looks like a uh, dried out river. That would have led into that one. But just peeking up there is Castle Crag. There's Castle Crag. First thoughts, Geordie Bear. First uh, thoughts on Castle Crag. Nice, nice cute one, isn't it? A nice cute one, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's very small, isn't it? it looks innocent, doesn't it? That is right. actually the smallest Wainwright. There's no smaller Wainwright than that. And it's what, 290, is it? 
Yeah, I think so, yeah. 290 meters, that bad boy. The smallest worm, right? Right by this gorgeous river. A couple of young fellas from Leeds headed up there with a couple of bags and a few tins of brew dog. What's that, John? Oh, 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 he's got his little. You're a kangaroo, you've got your little. Uh, what do you call the baby kangaroo? A joey. A joey? That's it. Jordy Bear and his joey. Oh, he loves a brew dog. So that's us tonight, Castle Crag, yes I. So here we go. Starting our ascent up Castle Crag. The walk here was really, really flat from the car park, but that's about to change. So Georgie Bear heading over and we'll start our ascent. Living the dream. Views are starting to open up now. Now we're gaining a bit of elevation. A steep one, short but steep. But I've heard the views are magnificent. Maybe it won't be as good as a full clear day, but even that on its own is lovely. Lovely. Like if you were to sell slate, Castle Crag, Adam in the Wild Limited, come and buy your slate. I do you a good price. There's plenty of it, isn't there? Look at that, like Geordie Bear just pointed out. Look at that path. It's like the Harry Potter scar on his head. Zigzag, <laughs> zigzag, zigzag. Oh, very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. 10 euros. This is so unique in its own way. Look at it. It's like beautiful in a way, isn't it? And then we're not right at the top yet. I know, like Jordy's just saying, like, who's had the time to stack it like that? Look at it. Wow, man. We've got, we've got, we're making me own language up, my God. Huh? <laughs> we've got up here. Jordy, what do you think of this without me? In just what do you think of this? I mean, we're not even at top, are we? No. But, uh, Better show them that, aren't we? Yeah. Look at that. And we're on the, all this slate. It's weird. It's. It just starts to open up. It? It's mad. Weird, yeah. It's tiny little fell, and this path I've never seen a path like this. Have you? It's, no. it's, uh, it's definitely different. And as Wayne Wright said, he said it's. Uh, magnificently different or or some 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 kind of words like that i don't want to quote the great man himself but he definitely expressed how this fell was just so different in a way where he had to include it as a wayne right and now i get it it's got everything and we're not even at top yet so we best do that mm. yes i some sort of bunkers or x Something there. And then, wow, look at this. Yeah, boy, woo! Yes, I, Mr. Pussycats. This isn't the summit, though. It looks like it should be a summit, but it's not. But it's a blooming beautiful viewpoint. Should we touch it anyway, pretend we've reached another wing right? Uh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Woo! Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Oh, there we go, it's back. But yeah, it's not the it's not the uh, the, the summit. But the wow. Wow, wow, wow. If, imagine that on a clear day, man. We've done it again. Another summit, another Wainwright, another adventure, which thankfully has only just begun. Right, I can see lots of crosses on this, so I'm going to be really respectful. Yes, like I say, there's a lot of crosses on this, so I'm just going to give it a little, little touch. I don't know what it means to someone else. A little touch, yeah. Yay! 
Look at these views, guys. Look at these views, one minute. Dermot Water, how are you doing, son? I'm all right, how are you? Yeah. Get in, Dermot Water. Stunning. What an absolute place. Because of the weather, we're probably going to end up pitching towards Derwent Water because that's where it seems to be more clear. But still up here, the camera ain't doing it justice. It's amazing still. I'm over at Moon. How are you, Jordan? Are you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Just reading that. Yeah. Sad, isn't it? Right, apparently Jordan's read something pretty sad. Before we read the sad stuff, yeah, hey! Woohoo! Right, we'll read your sad stuff then we'll get drunk. It was given to the National Trust in memory of John Hamer as well. So not only did that, the National Trust um, gain this fell, and this whole mountain is basically in his memory. Mm -hmm. I feel quite privileged to be here now, to be honest. Rest in peace, that man, and uh, thank you for all your service. I know that we are idiots, but we genuinely mean that. Like, It's really nice, that, so uh, yeah. We'll, we'll make sure we're respectful of the place. We always do anyway, but even more so. So there's the summit just there and a few people knocking about. Just behind this tree here, there's a bit of a splat, a uh, bit, bit of a flat spot here. And Geordie Bear's found a flat spot there. So we're not gonna fully set up yet, but we're gonna claim our spots because we think we've seen another couple of wild campers. And uh, dog eat dog world, mate. And then, uh, a couple of beers down his neck. So Jordy Bear here, as you know, it's a big star at Channel, and it's all like me saying, "Oh yeah, Jordy Bear's great," which he is. But I wanted to do a little summit. So there's a little surprise, a little cheeky surprise. I bought him a little summit. I bought him this. I bought him a little chair, one of these um, trichology chairs. Um, but bear with me a minute. On top of that, one for Jordy Bear. Yeah, you grab that one. One for me, two seconds, but uh, from the bottom of my heart and from Adam in the wild, a massive thank you to you, my friend. Cheers, lad. And thank you for being a massive part of the channel. No worries, mate. I got we you all, a chair we and a... enjoy it, don't we? Well, we enjoy it. Let's just get it up. I've got him a chair and a, and a can of beer, and I think I'm dog's bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, pal. Cheers, mate. Yippee! Thank you. Here's the summit of Castle Crag. I'm boot up. Jordy Bear's having a beer. You all right there, son? Just I, just admiring the views. What, you're having a can of, can of faith? Yeah. Can of faith, keep the faith. Keep As the faith. Hayes Outdoors would say, big shout out Hayes Outdoors, keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith, look at this, guys. Look at this, having a beer. Keeping the faith at the top. Oh, there it is. Get in. Time to get the tent up. Let's give it one of these ones. One, two, and three. New tent. Yes, I. Yes, guys. So we are in a, a new tent. It's the Pussycat Compact One. And it's a beast. So I'll show you my setup and I'll show you it, but I am going to be doing a full review of the tent in a separate video when the uh, the ground sheet, which is actually for the tent, comes. I'm just using the Cloud Peak 2 ground sheet today, just while that arrives. So I'll still show you the tent, I'll still show you the setup, but there will be a more in-depth review video of this tent, specifically be coming soon, because sometimes I can be quite, you know, informative even though I sound like an imbecile. Right, gonna have a bit of food. So, cooking is the OEX pan, jet boil, but I'm using the jet boil adapter to make it stove compatible. And I'm gonna have, 
got some burgers. As well as that, I've got some halloumi in there. Cheeky little burger. Burger, halloumi, and onion. Bit of bread falling off. That's where it's at. Let's go. So, show you the setups. I'll come back to that in a minute. That's new tent. As I say, I'll do a full in-depth review of that tent on its own sometime soon. But we'll start with Mr. Jordy Bears, who's in the MSI Alexia 2. Now, it's his sleeping setup that does it for me. Especially a sleeping bag. Ah, so, little pocket there full of his portable charger Z torch, which is like floodlights at Allen Road. Uh, seat to summit pillow. The Rab. The Rab Solar three. 3. And this is sleeping pad is called the. I forgot. Climb it. If you pull. It says it on it. Yeah. It says it on it. It's the climb. Yeah. There we are. Insulated, it's the Climate Insulated Static V. And apparently, it's meant to be warm as toast. So with that sleeping pad and that sleeping bag, he literally will be toasting out. There's so much room in the Alexia. So much room, pockets, porches. I'm sat in one galore. So we'll see how he gets on with that tonight. Look at that, it just blends in. actually got the climate map from stalking height alive oh height alive big yeah. shout out the height he, alive he, he had a black one right height alive he had a black one so i thought yeah i'll just I'll have a little nosy on google and whatnot big shout out height alive you need to be getting sponsorship deals so let's just pick up this kind of faith you know right let's head over here so the new tent the helm compact one i can't lie i've got serious feelings towards it i absolutely love it We've just done a bit of cooking, so it's a bit of a mess at the minute, but cooking stuff down here, a few beers, bread cakes, all that jazz. Walking poles. In here, got the OEX sleeping bag, comfort rating minus one. And we got the sea to summit pillow. Some spare clothes down there, portable charger there, right up there. If you know, you know. So that's my setup. Jordi Bear setup. And we're going to head back up to where the views are over Derwent Water and have a beer. Sun's really come out now, look at that. This is where it's at. Beautiful. Camp's just there, just behind that fallen uh, fallen tree trunk. Some more fells that way. Some more that way, but Clegg's hiding it. Geordie Bear's having a great time down here. And why wouldn't it be when you're looking at that? So we're just going to sit here and have a beer. Awesome. Firstly, look at the views. Lovely. Secondly, if anyone's lost some glasses on Castle Crag and you happen to watch this video, then I found them. Well, I haven't found them. Geordie Bear found them. So, they're on my head. So, if you've uh, lost some glasses on Castle Crag, I'm happy to return them to you. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll take them back with me and I'll, uh, I'll post them to you. The chances of someone watching this who's actually lost the glasses, unless they type in lost glasses on Castle Crag, then the chances are slim. But, Um, yeah, I found your glasses, mate. So, 
I'm happy to return them to you. So give me your address. <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note, I really have. We have, we have just found these glasses. So if they are someone's, let us know. Cheers, my dears. Big shout out. One minute. And a big shout out to my mate who kindly gave me a shout out in his video, randomly. Boys in the wood. 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 The Welsh Wizards. He's a, he's a great kid, he's our guest. Down at Boys in the Wood. So, I can't wait to meet you, mate, on the 19th and 20th of May. I'm going down to Wales, so watch out for the videos, yes I. Anyway, this is about Boys in the Wood. This is his shout-out. Thank you so much for giving me a shout out in your last video. We've been talking a lot on the uh, the old WhatsApp. He's a great kid. He's a great guy. His brother's hilarious. He's hilarious. The whole channel's hilarious. <laughs> He's just boys in the wood. Just check it out, man. It's it's one of a kind. Boys in the wood. Yes, I, Mr. Pussycat. I say boom, boom, boom. Every say, I say, well, well. Wah <laughs> Come on, everybody. Come on, Keswick. Let me hear you. <laughs> boom, boom. Everybody say, well, well. Well. Everybody. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, big shout out, Geordie Bear, because Geordie Bear has been doing most of filming tonight, actually, on his own, on his own camera. And he's going to send it over to me because we've been we've been a bit daft. We've been a bit daft because we've had a bit of us time. Look at the state of my hat. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Jordy Bear is going to send me over footage of what happened tonight. And I think it's only fair just to show you what actually happens on a camp. Because we just have a laugh. But here he is. Look, anyway. Jordy Bear. <laughs> so, here we go. That's our view for tonight. We're having a few beers now, as you can probably tell in my voice. Um... So yeah, it's stunning. So what I'll do is I'll leave a few clips now of uh, what we've been up to tonight and, and whatnot. So I'll see you in the morning and enjoy the following footage. Yes, I! You little missy pussycats. Did your hair feel like a rocket? Did you know how it feels to be too high? Too far? Too few? <laughs> You saw me all of the moon! <laughs> Cats, yes, I. Oh, finally, I struggled this morning, I struggled big time to get up. One, because I'm a little bit hungover, 
And secondly, because I was just so comfortable. A lovely, warm night in the helm, compact, pussycat one. Let's get up. Let's get up on this fine morning on a castle crag here. Bit of bacon, bit of loomy, bit of loomy, bit of loomy. Yeah, boy, yes, I. You little pussy cap. Yeah. Now that's where it's at, guys. That's where it's at. Okay. So with our bacon and halloumi sandwich, let's take a little walk and see if there's any views. I don't think there will be. It's very claggy. And I don't know what I've done to my leg, but I'm limping. And I wasn't limping last night. Very strange. Anyway, maybe I slept in a funny way. Oh my goodness, I am limping. Oh, God knows. Anyway, right. Oh, there's some views. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Castle Crag. Take a bow. I know this is a very special place to Paul from a Cumbrian Lad Outdoors. This is very special to him, this place. I do understand why. So a big shout out to Paul, Cumbrian Lad Outdoors. Amazing channel. He knows his stuff. Especially the Lake District. Big shout out to all of them. I love them all. And big shout out to you watching. Right. I'm going to finish this sarnie, start packing away. That's where my tent was. Jordy Bear's got the rubbish bag. Let's have a little look in there. What's in there? All right, so oh, very nice. Rubbish bag, no rubbish left. How was your camp, Jordy? Best sleep. Yeah, you said you didn't wake up once, did you? No. Buzzing? Absolutely buzzing about that. Boom. And you can just see where Jordy was. No trace left. Only footprints. Oh, it's done. Packed away. Let's get back down. My leg's hanging off, but who cares? Oh, look at the clouds. The fell that just keeps delivering. That just keeps on delivers. No. The fell that just keeps on delivering. Is that how you say it? Yep. We'll go with that. Beautiful. This part here is perfect for a bit of wild swimming and we just couldn't walk past without uh, exploring that option and uh, Jordy fancies it. There he goes. Oh, mate, I'm jealous. I don't have shorts or out, otherwise I'd have been straight in. Oh. <laughs> oh. There he goes. So we're off for Castle Crag. What the cows there, giving me evils. Look at them. Morning, fellas. In yes, I, you little missy cow pussy cats. So we're off of uh, Castle Crag. Wish we were still on there for another night. Yeah, again, I do really need a Lucas Aid. Um, that was a cracker, man. Absolute cracker. We love that one. Me and Jordy Bear had a maybe one too many beers, but who knows. Who decides when it's too many beers? Anyway, I'm waffling. So we're gonna we're back river, so we're just gonna give ourselves a little swill and head back to the car. Thanks for coming along. Sorry, that must have been really annoying to watch that. No one had that. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Still there. Yes, I, Mr. Pussycats. <laughs>